we have to get this appointment right. So it's all right, we could, we could appoint somebody tonight. There's plenty of people out of uh, work who would love to be here and would you know, drive down here and, and sign tonight. But we have to get it right. And if that means we take a little bit more time, so be it. You know, all I'd ask is people, be patient. It's not a word that certainly fans don't like the word, but just ask, let's be patient, let's get it right. So that when we look back in a year, two years, we go, we made the right decision rather than, you know what, we rushed the decision and we got it wrong. You know, my first meeting was with Alan. Um, and, you know, I think we have to be thankful that we got someone at the club who, you know, in a difficult moment has pick, you know, picked up the reins, if you like, and, and sort of tried to carry the team forward. And, you know, we have to be grateful for him for that. Um, I think we also have to be sort of respectful for Alan in terms of what he's done in the game and, and you know, treat him with the respect that he sort of deserves. So, I, you know, I've had an honest conversation with him this morning in terms of what does it look like going forward uh, for him. You know, we won't be considering him as, as head coach. Um, but there could be very much a role here for him going forward if it's right for him and then if it's right for the next head coach. And, and I think, as I said to Alan and, and I looked him in the eye, he looked me in the eye, we just need to be honest with each other. And I think the good thing is I'm a decent guy. He's a good guy. So um, hopefully we can move that forward. You know, you have your maybe managers from back in the day who go, oh no, manager runs everything. I actually don't think that's possible now at a club of this size that a manager can run everything. Well, they can, but it leads to making mistakes. So because they're trying to get involved in maybe the structure of the chef and his, his kitchen, well, could you not be out developing the players? Could you not be watching a potential signing? You know, and I think to take that pressure away and have the head coach who can, you know, the clues in the title, head coach to coach and, and make the team better and make individuals better, while someone else can take the weight of other areas of that work off, I, you know, I think um, it's a good thing. And I, I only think more clubs will uh, will try and to look to employ one.